Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of Advanced WordPress Theme Development. So in the previous video, we learned about the basic concept of how to create a load more or infinite scroll. And in this video, we're going to start implementing our learnings. If you haven't watched my previous video, I highly recommend to watch that so that you can understand what's going on. So you can see that these are all of the posts. If you scroll down, you have a nice loading. You have six articles being loaded first and then followed by the next six articles and so on until it finishes. So keep going. There you go. All right. Brilliant. So we're going to learn how to go ahead and implement that. So let's begin. So if you remember from the previous video, the first step was to create a JavaScript file called loadmore.js. So what we're going to do now is we're going to create a load more file. So let's do that. So I'm going to go to my theme, then go to assets, source, JS, and over here, I will create a directory called posts. And inside of that, I'm going to create a file called load more.js. For now, I'll leave it as it is, and we'll come back to this. The first thing we'll do is we'll make sure it's enqueued. Make sure that we import that here. So we'll say import post load more.js. So it, it's basically our main.js file that's going to be included, which will contain the code for the load more. The next thing we're going to do is enqueue the JavaScript file and create a nonce. I'm not going to get into explaining of what all of these things are. If you haven't watched my previous video, I recommend to watch that to, to understand what these are if you don't know already. Okay, so what we're going to do now is go to includes classes and then I'm going to go to assets and inside of assets, we'll head over to register scripts and then over here, I'm going to put WP localize script. I've already explained all of that in the previous video. So we, this is going to ensure that it's going to make this object site config available to our main.js file, which has the load more being imported. So here's where we are importing the load more inside the main.js. So it's going to provide that particular file, that JavaScript file with this object, and it's going to give this Ajax URL, which is the path up until the admin Ajax file of WordPress core file. And then this is going to create a nonce and going to pass the nonce as well. Okay. The next step is to basically create the load more functionality. So what I'm going to do now is create a file, uh, basically a class file, and we'll name it as class load more post dot PHP. I mean, you can even name it as infinite scroll. It's up to you. I'm just going with this name. Okay. I'm going to create a class over here called load more posts. I'll ensure there's namespace available and we'll use singleton. You don't know what singleton is you can watch my previous videos so we've added a construct method then we've added the setup hook, hook function and this is where we are hooking our custom function this is our custom function uh, that we've created and we're hooking it to wp ajax no priv load more and wp ajax load more so that it is attached to both for logged out and logged in users so this function is going to work for both okay and this is our action name load more okay Awesome. And then the next thing we do is we will set the initial request equals false first so that we can reuse this function for loading our initial posts. And then I'm going to paste a code snippet. All of this code will be available to you on the GitHub itself. So you just have to go to GitHub slash Imran HCL slash Aquila and you will get all of this code. And I'm not going to go into the detail of this because I have already explained all of this piece of code in the previous video. I recommend watching that if you haven't already. So this is basically uh, checking that if it's not the initial request and this is going to ensure we check the nonce that the nonce is valid because when we're going to make a request from jQuery.ajax function uh, and we pass the nonce that is being passed from this object to that file then we're going to ensure we'll verify that for security and if there's any error we will send we will die and then the status code will be 400 and then this will be the json error then we'll check if it's an ajax call this is where we get the page number so get query var basically will allow you to get the page number okay 
and then we're also going to add pagination which will be hidden for google and this is important because if you're creating infinite scroll only certain number of posts are loaded initially which means google is not able to index all of your posts so it is important that you have pagination on the on the page itself so that google can index so we can hide the pagination for users but google will still be able to see it so we will implement the pagination later okay so this page number is going to check that the post has the page number and uh, if, when we are implementing the pagination is going to get that information from this get query var otherwise this will be available from the so this will be available from the ajax call okay so basically this is going to get you the page number and then we'll do a query here so we'll query for post type post you can query for any other post if you want status will be publish number of posts per page will be six so we want to load six post uh, initially and then we will load six more post every time the user scrolls towards the bottom of the page and this will be the page number okay so page number one two three depending on how many posts are there so if, if the database has 12 posts which means there will be two pages first we'll query page number one and call and ask for six posts and then after that we'll query another six posts as well and we'll do the query we should pull it on top so let's do use wp query okay so now that thing is gone and then we're just going to loop through these posts and then we're going to load our template which will basically have the markup for each post so let's create that so inside of component i'm going to create a file called postcard so we created a file called postcard i'm going to paste the code snippet here so this is basically going to check if the get the id is available because we're going to use this inside of the wordpress loop if it is not available we're just going to return to ensure that we don't accidentally use this outside of the loop and then we get the post permalink post title we just create a section basically in fact you can name this as article also yeah there you go and then you'll be having the header uh, which will contain the post permalink this will contain the post thumbnail we've already discussed that in previous videos uh, this will be the title of the post with the permalink uh, the excerpt and we're using this class truncate i have already added the uh, css for this so you can check that out in my code repo this is basically to ensure that the content does not go beyond those four lines uh, when we're talking about the excerpt so that we have a consistent height for these postcards and this is the permalink for with the view more button okay so that's all that's going on there so that's that and then otherwise if it's not available if posts are not available then wp die zero uh return response is zero and no post found and when then we do the wp reset post data uh, then we check if it's an ajax call if it is a not initial request then go ahead and die okay next thing i'm going to do is create another function and we'll call it as post script load more what this is going to do is the moment you call this function is going to first call the function that we've created which is this one and then is going to pass initial request to true and the moment you pass initial request to true it considers this as a non ajax request so it's not going to do anything related to ajax so as we already done the conditional checks here okay so this is to ensure we reuse this functionality because you shouldn't repeat yourself you reuse this functionality to load the initial six posts so this function already has the query for six posts so why not utilize that why why there is a need to write another function for that right so we can reuse this function so it's doing two things it's fun it's working for loading the initial post as well and it's also working for the ajax request so it's you can call it directly or you can also hook it like we've done with the ajax hook so anytime ajax call is made then automatically this function will be called okay then we just have a button over here we just have loading and we're also going to add an spg for loading here so let's go ahead and add that so we'll create a directory called svgs and then we'll create a file called loading.php and then i'm just going to paste the svg code here you can use any other svg you want i'm just going with this one there are a lot of free svgs available on loading.io you can check that out so that's going to ensure we give it, it gives us a nice svg for loading 
uh, animated one. All right. And the next thing we're going to do is basically create a page so we can use this function. Okay. I'm going to create a page in the root directory and I'll call it as page load more demo. Okay. Now, if you create a page with the prefix page hyphen and whatever you give the name after that, that can be treated as the slug of that page. So this means if you create a page with this slug load more hyphen demo then whatever content you're going to output over here is going to be available on that page so let's do that so i have already created a page called load more demo and you can see that the permalink the url slug is load more demo so anything we do over here even if you do echo is going to be available on that page so for now what we can do is we can add the header the footer and then just the container with a heading and then we are just going to initialize and what we also need to do is we need to call this inside of our main plugin file so you need to go to aquila theme put that there okay get instance so because we are initializing it here once it's just going to use that instance it's not going to initialize it again and then you will be able to access the function which is postscript load more of course you, you'll have to use the namespace and stuff but you can directly use it here this particular page on the front end you can see that you've got these posts being displayed which is great okay before we continue there's a error here in this file let's quickly fix that so template tags it's complaining that it's not getting the post id so let's put that there post id get the id and then if empty post id return null okay this was our custom function where it was giving this error okay it's fine cool so now that error should go brilliant so now you can see that you've got these posts being displayed and you have a nice little loading here as well of course it doesn't do anything right now because we need to write the ajax request ajax call to listen to this whenever the user scrolls to this position then we should be able to load the post but for now at least we've got our six posts being loaded so what's happening is that you, you call this function what this function is doing is calling our ajax script load more which is going to check okay the initial request is true so I'm just going to treat this as a non ajax request It's going to pass all of that information and it's going to consider treat this as page number one which is, this is this one and then it's going to use this template postcard that we've just created to output our posts and then because we've already added the relevant classes inside of it so this function has this class called row and this postcard has these columns etc it's already outputting that in row column okay awesome so in the next video uh, we are going to write the javascript for the ajax and then i'm going to explain to you how things will function further all right so i hope you did like the video if you did please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already please follow me on github my github handle is imran h sayed and please start my repository to support my work and thanks to all the beautiful 368 people who have already started my repositories thanks thank you everyone and please do follow me on twitter as well my twitter handle is cody tech so i'm going to see you in the next video thank you very much bye, -bye.